Hello everyone. Today I'd like to share a couple of Tableau tips that I've come across that um, have saved me some time and hopefully will make your Tableau work life a little bit easier. Let's go ahead and start with tip number one. So let's say you have a view such as this where you have multiple measures like profit and sales um, shown in a view and you want it to quickly format um, instead of having these ugly looking standard numbers if let's say you want to format them to currency. One easy way to do this is if you hold down the control button and select all of the measures that you would like to change the um, formatting for, you select them like this using control and then you drop down on any of them and look at the default properties then you go to number format and here you can format let's say to a custom currency let's remove the decimal places and make it in the thousands unit there you go quick and easy tableau tip number two uh, the, the regular way that I used to show filters was by dragging something onto filters, you know, selecting all, apply, OK, do a drop down and show filter, right? Now, what's an easier way to do it? The easiest way is you go into dimensions or measures and just do a drop down and show filter. There you go. One easy step. Tableau tip number three. Now let's say you, you already have a filter, right? And let's say we have it as a single value list with these radio buttons. And then we see these pesky little all um, selection. Let's say you want to disable the all. How would you do it? Well, it's actually pretty easy. You drop down on the filter, you go to customize, and you uncheck the show all value. And there you go. Poof, like magic disappeared. All right, tip number four. So this is for editing um, labels on reference lines. So let's go ahead, go into analytics and just add a, a reference line for average discount for the table. Now we have a selection of, you know, do you want to show the values? Is it the average? Let's leave that alone for now and focus just on label. So the options are non value computation or custom. We're going to go ahead and select custom. And now we can write, let's say, Kate's, Kate's average, something like that. And now let's say we also want to add the, the actual value. So we go ahead and do it that way. And then we say OK. And now you can see here, Kate's average. And since the average is 16%, it shows the 16%. And for the last tip, this is regarding um, editing table calculations. So right now we don't have any table calculations. So let's just quickly add one. Let's say we want uh, a moving average calculation for our sales by subcategory. If we wanted to edit this, we can just drag it into measures. It will create a new calculated field. So let's call this a, a new, new field just for the sake of brevity. And we can go ahead, like any other calculated field, we can edit it. So let's say that we just want to multiply everything by three for, for one reason or another. And we say apply, OK? And it actually already ran the calculation here. So thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful for you.